Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR net examination. Today we will discuss about LPP based questions. This is only one question are there which we are explaining in the detail with the help of shortcut tricks. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar for finding the various videos related to the CSR net and this is the playlist name you can find in my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar where you have find the previous year 2022, 20, uh, 2019, 21 and all year papers available at my channel name Dr. Harishkar playlist here. Now remember that this is the objective questions competition examination your target is to discard the option instead of solving the problem. This problem is very simple because you have to write the dual of the problem so you can easily do that without even uh, without uh, small calculations are there but my target is to explain the various concepts involved in the problem so that whenever in the future examination whether the sign is instead of this uh, is a greater than is whether this sign or minus how you can tackle such kind of the problems so look at that these are the certain rules I already made a one video related to that you can watch how you can write the dual of the problem the title is my easiest way to write the I have written 15 examples in this video which have helped you to write the dual in a very simple manner. What are the rules are there? Firstly, we are working on the canonical form of the LPP. What is the canonical form of the LPP? Whenever you have the maximization problem, all the constants are less than sign and x1, x2, x3 all are my greater than 0. Then or if you have the minimization problem, all the constants are greater than sign and each of the x1, x2 are my greater than 0. So if, if I call this is my primal, then this is my dual. If I call this is my primal, then this is my dual. Now in this given example, your target is to maximization. So problem is dual is my minimization. So any of the option which is not minimization, you can discard them. But here all are there. Now, what is the rule number one? All those variables which are associated with here are directly connected with their constraints. Any of the variables which are associated with the constraints are associated with their variables. So there are the three constraints y1. So I can consider as a three variables. Now look about the first how you can discard the option. The first one is you have to check about the no negativity restriction. So x size we need x size are greater than zero. So is this satisfied? Yes, it means this is related to the minimization problem which is of the greater than sign. So look at the all those options whose constraints are not greater than equal to sign. That option you can discard. Look at that. So it means this option is cancel out. Fine. If I say my instead of this, if my variables are like of this. So what is the meaning of that? It means x2 is my opposite sign. It means the first constraints is my greater than sign. The second constant is my less than sign. So then in that case, this, this and these options are discard. This is my rule number one. Fine. Because this example is very simple, which is related to x1 and x2 both are greater than zero. So it is a greater than zero. But if in some other examination, the constraints or no negativity are given to be here and problem is maximization, then you have to think all those options which has to be discard, which is not satisfied by here. Now look about here. So once it's a maximization problem, your constraint must be less than sign are there. So once it's a maximization, so again it's satisfied. So it means the corresponding variable y1, y2, y3. Now in this case, it's a y1, y2, y3, all are greater than or equal to zero. So any of the condition which is not satisfied, greater than, all are satisfied. There is no problem. But second option is already discarded. If I say instead of this, if it is my greater than here, so since this condition does not satisfy the maximization, so the corresponding y2 in that case is a less than zero. Fine. While y1 is my positive, y1 is positive, y3 is my positive. Fine. This is my rule number two. Now that's over. That's fine. That's over are there. And what's the rule number three is the corresponding you have to compare the x1. That is what is the coefficient of the x1 is one, two, one. You have compared with the one. That is a one y1. 2y2, 1y3, that is a 1y1, 2y2 and plus 1y3, what is the coefficient of the x1 is 1. This is my first constant similarly for the second. Clear students? Now based on these three rules, we can define all these answers are here. 
so look at start with this one so all these cons these are no negativity so it means constraints must be of the greater than sign so the second option is my discard fine all those variables are my greater than zero less than of there because of the maximization problem then it all are my positives again are satisfied look at the first option one two one so that's a one two one it must be greater than of the x one that's the three which is false now they are both satisfied look at the second option that is a one one two one by one one by two plus two by three must be greater than of the three it is option is cancelled both are correct options B. now fine so look at this one so this is my y1 this is y2 now y3 look at 6 y1 8 y2 9 y3 6 y1 8 y2 9 y3 but it is a 9 so it option is also cancelled right answer is my here so remember that i have explained in detail about all the rules if for example if instead of here and that's the answer of this problem but if i simply call you like maximization of 2x1 minus of the 4x2 and say one constraint is x1 plus x2 is less than equal to 1 second constraint is 2x1 minus 3x2 is greater than equal to 4 x1 is less than 0 x2 is my greater than 0 fine how you can write the degree of this problem you can write this as a y1 this as a y2 firstly look about that because my problem is maximization so we need all are my less than 0 and x i's are my greater than zero fine now my dual is my minimization so these are my here the first constraint is not satisfied so it means how many there are the two constraints the first constraint are of the opposite sign so if it is a minimization then it must be greater than sign but the, it is opposite sign the, the first constraint will be less than of the one second condition satisfied the second constraint must be of the greater than sign and the right hand side will be my first one is two second one is minus four now you can check about that the, all these the first variable y1 it maximization it's satisfied so the y1 is my positive for the second one it's a greater than zero but we actually want the less than zero which is not satisfied so y2 must be less than of zero now you can write the constraints this is my one so it's a one y1 plus two y2 is a coefficient of two one y1 minus three y2 greater than of minus 4 and what is the objective function is 1 by 1 and plus 4 by 2 is the dual of this problem because in this case it's a very simple that's why there is no problem but if you look about this case then it is the way you can write the dual of the problem so for more detail you can simply follow my this lecture uh, uh, writing the dual of the LPP with the shortcut tricks we explain more than 15 examples so that you can understand very quickly in a shortcut tricks I hope you can learn this session. So we will see the next lecture on the linear algebra. Till then, you can simply follow my playlist, CSN at channel name Dr. Harishkar. You can like, kindly like, share and subscribe my this channel for more updation videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.